Hi guys, this is Eric Cressy. Today we're gonna to start off a series um, on how we kind of do some self-myofascial release on the neck with the Acumobility Ball. Before we get to any of the functional anatomy discussions or the actual techniques, the thing I wanna really emphasize is that a neck is not a hip or a knee or some, even a shoulder really. Um, you cannot thrash a neck, you don't wanna mash it, bash it, you don't wanna do anything aggressive with it. Um, so I always tell folks as we go through this, it's a gentle pressure, almost like a pin and stretch technique that you would get in the massage world. So we wanna be really, really gentle and not force uh, aggressive movements or aggressive pressure anywhere in the neck because we do have some um, some nerve and vascular structures that are a little bit more exposed so um, we like to use the acting mobility ball um, for this stuff I tend to prefer the orange one and not the blue one orange one has a little bit more give to it and I think that's really important when we're dealing with some of these more delicate structures so the first one that I'm going to show you is sternocleidomastoid so as the name implies it attaches to your sternum your clavicle and then the mastoid process further up so it has this you know kind of course over the entire length of your neck um, and what we know about SCM is it actually tends to be really really implicated um, as like a trigger point referral pattern with folks who have headaches um, we actually see bigger sternocleidomastoid folks who are in forward head posture if you look at the research so easiest way to kind of get in on SCM is to just turn your head to the side and you can quickly locate it as that guy that kind of pops out as you rotate so um, with that in mind what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get in there nice and gentle um, and all we're gonna do is kind of pin and then look up and away so you get on that and work up and away. Some people will notice this a lot more than others, but you'll notice that we're really, really gentle. Um, I tend to do a lot more further down towards the clavicle and the sternum than I do higher up here, but some folks may actually find a little bit benefit to traveling a little bit further up along the muscle belly as it gets closer and closer. So very, very gentle. Uh, again, probably 15 to 20 seconds on each side. You can easily locate it by just turning your head to the side and kind of palpating that uh, muscle that hops right out. 